it now here to Blythe. Gonna be coming up on uh, the way station for uh, Arizona, California to Arizona border. A lot of palm trees growing out here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Tropical. But yeah, shortly after Blight, we have the scales go across the Colorado River. It's just a typical drive. <laughs> the one I've been doing lately anyway, it's kind of crazy. I do have some places I haven't been that I'm going to this time around. Burning something over there. Looks like they're burning some palm trees. They got too many of them. Yeah, eventually I'll get a Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, you know, something like that, some type of different run. I think uh, here in Arizona we have like 60 or more stops, you know, and I can only do like 10 to 15 of them per trip. Quite a bit to haul out here. Try to mind. You know, it keeps me busy. Still have at least a couple hours to my first stop. I'm gonna be a little bit late. Um, that fire, motor home fire or whatever, put me a little behind, and then I was a little late picking up. 
this morning. I kind of hit heavy traffic. And then, you know, like typically they just Google map it and you know, what time they get is when they say they'll get there, you know, so they're not accounting for being in a truck or any slowdowns on the road. Which is fine. You know, these stores understand. I just hope the receiving department doesn't close at four. A lot of them close at four. Sometimes 4.30 sometimes five but if I can get there before they close I'm gonna be golden be able to push on to my next store since I still have some hours to drive I was up at four o'clock this morning to get out to the yard by 8 I guess I didn't leave myself enough time I was about a half hour late a little less than a half hour <laughs> that was the first time that drive took me over three hours though so may have to take that into consideration yeah those are uh, the mountains of Arizona right there coming into them For the most part, it's just been a boring drive, kind of like this. Getting a little freaked out by the uh, border station there. There's the Colorado River. Someone's down there swimming around. And we're in Arizona. Hundred and four degrees. One of my favorite stops right here, Aaronsburg. Get the cheaper gas. I got food. I've been going to Pilots mainly and Flying J's. I like Love's too, but 
you know, um, they got good parking and all that good stuff. But uh, I've been using Flying J's driver app, which gives me some rewards for uh, feeling up there and all that. So I try to do most of my feeling there. Unless it's an emergency. I know Loves has one too. I just never signed up for it or got on with it. I just had to uh, over a pilot because I needed to take a shower. And they had the shower facilities and they, uh, you know, gave me a free shower. They're, they're normally like 15 bucks to rent a shower. Which can get pretty pricey. <clears throat> so they gave me the card and threw a free shower on there for me, which was pretty cool. So I've been giving them my business since they did that, and I'm sure they get a lot of people hooked that way. But it made me happy. Oh, no turning back we're in on this no matter what now it's open of course They want to check us out. Anyway, they'll probably get quiet here for a minute. <laughs> Rolling through, you know, keep all your stuff off, roll down your windows. Go nice and slow, follow the speed limits. Maybe they'll give me a bypass, I don't know. We'll see. You know what? It says truck bypass way station. Woo! I'm gonna bypass it. I ain't going down in there. Hell no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Free entry to Arizona. Thank you, Arizona way station. That's uh, a nice relief. At least now I know I'm not going to get red lighted or put out of service and I'm definitely going to get my deliveries done. Gonna ruin me, Ruan. Yeah, you ruined me, all right. Ah. <laughs> Come on, we got this hill to get up. Let's do it. Come on, Ruan. Uh, I'm pretty heavy. I'm not super heavy, though. I, I think maybe like 44,000 or roughly around there. It's not like a, a ton of weight on me right now. You know, I'm probably like 5,000 pounds under maybe like 75,000 I don't know maybe 70,000 who knows still pretty heavy but 
I've done worse. Oh no. Why? Gotta slow down for him since I can't get over. Ah, oh, that guy again. We can get up this hill at a de decent pace. You just never know with these trucks, you know, if they're pulling a big load or a light load, if we're gonna be able to get up this hill better than you. I mean, I'm catching this guy. I'm gonna get around them, but I may just pewter out. You know, and he may just pass me on the right. I have no idea. I'm trying to run it as fast as I can, pedal to the metal, get as much speed going up this. Got a little messed up by those guys back there. And by Ruan. Yeah, I got another, I'm, I'm dropping. I'm gonna have to downshift. Come on, baby. Get up that hill. Get up it. Ooh, I may have to downshift again. We will see. I got this truck on my ass. I'm getting over for this guy. He's being grumpy. I mean, he was right on my butt. Not to be so grumpy buddy I know you're driving a brown truck <laughs> now I just got to be on this guy's butt. I'm not trying to be grumpy to him, but I do want some speed to get up this hill. I'm not able to get over. I know, Dinger. Car will hurry up. Come on, car. I need to get this dinger to stop. Woo! Thing was dinging me. get by this guy and maybe about the same weight as me or have a little more peppy of a truck I'm not sure whatever it is it's hard to pass them giving it everything I got Here we go, here we go. He's slowing down. Yeah. UPS guy. Got 
got another dude on my butt now. I'm not getting over for him though. I'm going fast enough and I got this guy that's just creeping right here. No, if I'm going 10 miles per hour under the posted speed limit, I throw all my flashers. This guy right here is not even running his flashers. Neither one of them. It's like, dude, it's obvious you guys are going slower than you should be. You know, at least give a warning that you know, you're passable. So we can tell from a distance. Nobody ever really thinks about it, I guess. Kenworth guy is going to be happy here in a second. Now you can speed all you want, buddy. Oh, now I'm going fast enough. I love that. I got plenty of fuel. I may be able to get all of my runs done without having to refuel. That would be sweet. Saves me a good half hour right there.